I'm coming. Guys, my dad just said he found a secret room. Oh, no way. Was that under the carpet? Let's see. Yo, dude, this thing is full of stuff. I see money. Hey, what's going on, guys? So we're at house number two of our exploring and salvaging abandoned houses series. And I've said this a million times, but I always get someone commenting. So for those of you that don't know, my dad does demolition, so we're not just going into some random houses and stealing stuff. We have full salvaging rights to this place. So now that that's out of the way, let's go find some treasure. All right, here we go, guys. And the grand reveal. See an old water heater. Looks like a bunch of crap to me. But we did already go through this place a little and take a sneak peek, so I do know there is going to be some interesting stuff, so don't click off just yet, but this looks like a bunch of crap so far. But we always end up finding something, no matter how gone through these places are, there's always something left behind. Whether it's like furniture or... Extension cords, six pegs. Yep, or gold or money. Over here there is some interesting stuff. Old laptop, probably not going to be worth anything really. Old That's Dell laptop. There's a mystery box right here. Ooh, this looks exciting, dude. I see a knife. Oh, look at that. A broken knife? Wow. How'd they do that? Yeah. Broke the freaking blade in half. So a Jump. Lot, a lot blade. Some wallets. Let's see, is there anything inside these? Empty. Paper clip. This one looks kind of fancy. Let's see any money? Nothing. Nope, but you always gotta check because you never know where people are gonna leave stuff. I see a, a DS game. Hey, that's pretty cool. A Pac-Man DS game, hmm. It's gotta be worth something. Yep, that's our first find right there, guys. Pretty interesting right there. And I see an old iPod or MP3 player. A bunch of junk, but these boxes are always the most exciting to go through because there's always like little hidden treasures inside. Stuff like this is, I collect bolts and nuts and stuff. Yeah, little parts. But this Let's one see. is a soft bolt. I can tell there's no markings on Ooh, it. Ooh, so. look at that thing, dude. That looks pretty nifty. It's a little watch. And then I see made in China. That kind of kills it right there. Yep. Junk. Keychain watch. Yeah, that looked pretty cool at first. I thought it could have been a good brand, but. What's that other chain on there? It's like more cheap junk. Doesn't look like silver. Oh, what the heck, dude. What? There's like freaking false teeth in there. Ew. You see that right there? That's like nasty. dentures or something? Yeah. What the heck? All right, that's super gross. Get that out of there. And then I saw this. Huh, made in USA. That's a good sign. It says silver plate. So it's got some silver inside of there. Yeah, it looks like it's yeah. Like, All right, we'll take that. The coloring, the rainbow coloring. In yeah. There. Got some silver, guys. Nice. And then the rest of this looks like garbage, so let's move on. Wait, what's this? Oh, just a phone case. Yeah, old, old phone. Old Nextel. So we just came across this thing, and I don't know about you guys, but I love these, like, talking fish dudes. Let's see if this works. Probably needs some new batteries. That's kind of cool though. Take it home for Christmas, put it under the tree. For me? Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah, no batteries. But this is one of those things that's just like so weird, but cool at the same time, you gotta take it. So we'll keep that. Here's one of the bedrooms. I'm pretty sure this is one of the rooms I looked in and saw some stuff, so let's check it out. Or is this the empty room? No way, this one does have stuff. Look in the closet. Not much. Few little items. Oh, I see Harley Davidson right there, dude. Look at that. It's worth money. Is that authentic? It's like a pouch thing. Anything pouch. inside of there? Pouch. You hooked to the bike, but the straps are missing, like a handlebar. It's probably leather. It's pouch. Those are straps. There's the straps right there. Sweet. Harley Davidson is always worth money, so that's a great find. Complete package. Not bad. And what's down here? This is a. Interesting looking like suitcase thing. Let's see. Open that up. Feels pretty light though. Huh. What fancy. is that? Some kind of fancy hat? Yeah, with feathers, a feather hat. It's got its own suit or own bag. Made in USA. 100% wool. 
I don't know much about these kind of things, guys, but I know some of these hats can be worth a lot of money, so we'll definitely take this home and look it up, but that's pretty cool. It's got its own suitcase and everything, so this has got to be worth at least something. Wonder if these feathers are real. They're probably real. So awesome find right there, guys. And we got this jersey, and jerseys usually bring money, so let's see what this one is. It's a Sox jersey. Seems to be like super stand up and gross though, so I wouldn't even bother with this. But jerseys are usually worth money if they're in good condition. And then over here we got some kind of fancy king hat. It's like Burger King. <laughs> yeah. A shoe. Old boombox right there. I see some stuff on the shelf up here. We got a can of tomato sauce. Is that actually what this is? I think it might be a hidden one of those hidden Yeah, cans. this is what I'm trying to look at, but it feels and sounds like tomato sauce. Yeah, I can hear it in there. Sometimes people do hide money in cans like this, so we always check these. But that's actual tomato sauce, guys. And then up there I saw another bottle of something that's Jade East Cologne. Hmm. Could that be worth anything? Some colognes are like super expensive. Swank. Made in New York. We'll have to look that up and then anything else up there? Old globe. Well, let's move on to the next room. All right, guys, here's the room with the most stuff in it. This is the room that I took a peek in. I saw the safe right off the bat, which was pretty exciting. And then there's just so much stuff shoved in here. It looks like they took a bunch of the furniture and other stuff from the house and shoved it inside of this one room. So there's got to be some cool stuff in here. Let's start with this safe. It looks like someone already beat us to it, though. They broke the dial off and then probably cracked the thing open. Let's see. Yo, dude, I see something gold and shiny. No way that's real, though. Let's see. Yeah, this feels super light. Wow. Yeah, that feels like plastic. Let's see any markings. It's a costume jewelry or plastic. I see some kind of marking. Can you read that? I'm trying to zoom in for you guys. Oh, that says 14K. Look at that. Yeah, look. Right there, 14K. Probably what the heck? Probably. This thing is so light, and there's no way someone would just leave this inside of a safe, but right. you never know. Could be real gold, guys. I probably thought it was just costume jewelry. Yeah. Because it's like plasticky. That, if this is real gold, this is going to be worth a whole ton of money because that is a big bracelet. We're taking that, and we're going to test it out later. Let's see what else is inside here. Some kind of handle. Is that off? A Nothing gun, maybe? Exciting. Yeah, some papers, but we just found a potentially gold bracelet. That is pretty cool. Too bad they broke into it. It would have been fun. Yeah, it was, it was probably full of gold, gold if they left that bracelet inside of there. Right, took the good stuff. I just spent about 10 minutes back there digging through stuff. I didn't find anything, so I'm going to cut that clip out. But on this side, I did see something that could potentially be really cool. So take a look. We got a basketball, which was not what I was talking about. Probably take that, though. But down here... Check this out. Look at this, dude. Yep, that's a stun gun. No way. Wow, the thing's huge. Have you ever found a stun gun before? I can't say I have. I haven't. Wow, look at that thing, guys. Woo. How many volts is that? That's a 500,000 or 500? Yeah, 500,000. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Wow. No way. That That's probably lethal, man. I don't want to get hit with that. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to be careful with this, but that is freaking cool. I don't even know if these are legal where we live. Panther. Wow. Talk about a cool find. I'm coming. Guys, my dad just said he found a secret room. Oh, no way. Was that under the carpet? Yeah, it's like some kind of trap door. Huh. You think that opens? For sure. It's got to. That's so weird. They hit it under the carpet. It's got to be like to a basement or crawl space. I didn't even know there was a basement in this house. I don't see a handle on it anymore. I wonder what could be down there, guys. This is pretty exciting. Pop it open with that piece gotta of metal. Pry it open. Oh, it's coming up. My fingers Let's see. Can wow. you see. It's super dark down there. My yeah. yeah. See a bunch of junk. You see anything down there? See an old cushion. Oh, there's like a toolbox right there. Yeah, Some kind of tin. Like huh. Corn tin or something. We'll have to check that out. All right, guys. I got to jump down there and see what's in there. It's pretty deep. Be careful. Yeah. What's that? A good four foot drop. Six here, hold my phone. All right, here I go. Oh, this thing is huge. Any big spiders down there? I hope not. Looks pretty empty though. But there is this really interesting toolbox. Let's see anything inside here? A 
few things inside this toolbox. Looks like mostly no tools, just a few parts and junk. And then this tin, there's stuff inside this tin too. Doesn't sound like cookies. Oh, oh my God, dude, this thing is full of stuff. I see money. Oh, is that, that's Louis Vuitton, dude. Oh, wait, dude. Louis oh Vuitton. my God, what is this doing down inside this crusty freaking basement? Any cash? There's coins, a lot of coins too. I got this jar of coins. All right, we got to get this out of here. Here, take that. Got it. Let me make sure there's nothing hidden inside these rafters or anything. How about this box right here? That old crusty box that looks like junk. I don't see anything inside the rafters. Let's go check out that tin, though. Doesn't look like anybody's been down here in a long time. Yeah. This ba this uh, tin doesn't look like it's been down there too, too long, though. But that looks like freaking Louis Vuitton. You know how expensive these are, dude? Uh, it's and mostly it pennies, man. No, this is what I was talking about. This oh. little jar right there. But Louis Vuitton is super expensive, man. Check out this. It's got the stamp inside, right? Let me read that. Looks pretty, made, pretty good condition. Can you read that? It says made in, in France. That could be real, guys. These are really nice. Wow. This one's pretty used up. It's got someone's stuff inside pretty, of it. Pretty worn, the snaps. But Louis Vuitton is like really high end. You think it would sell with it with the snaps? Yeah, definitely. Like even just like even in super bad condition. What is that? Some kind of. This one's got a horse logo on it. Leather is that leather? Feels that looks kind of old. But how weird is that, guys? We just found Louis Vuitton in this crusty old basement. What is that? Ooh, like oh, those are dominoes. those are dominoes. Huh? It's kind of cool, metal dominoes. I'm still inside this basement, guys, so it's kind of hard hey, for me check to. Check this out. Oh, what is? That's a knife. Oh. Another lock blade. Pretty Same cool. What else we got in here? It's a whole mix of like little. I thought these were quarters, but they look like some kind of foreign coins. Yeah, yeah these are definitely foreign. I, I saw a Canadian, I think a Canadian quarter in there. Ooh, some of these could be really old. All right, guys, so I'm out of that secret room, and I'm taking a look at some of these coins, and it looks like we got coins from all different countries. Take a look at these. We got an Espana coin, a Mexico coin, the gold one. Looks like an Italian coin right there, Italiana, a bunch of Canadian coins, and I have no idea the value of any of these, so... Some of these could be worth a whole lot of money. If you're familiar with any of these coins, comment down below, let me know. But that is awesome to find, guys, a bunch of foreign coins. And then we got some pennies, which is obviously a lot less exciting. But mixed in there is some keys, which are kind of interesting. Who knows what those go to? Two keys right there and looks like a casino chip right there. So some pretty cool finds, guys. I can't believe we just found all this stuff hidden underneath the trap door, which was also covered by carpet. So someone was definitely trying to hide this stuff, guys. And this stuff doesn't look too old either. It couldn't have been down there longer than a few years. And this house was only abandoned like a year ago, so the owner might have died or just forgot about it. But this is why I always check every little hiding spot because you never know what you could find, guys. In my other video, I found a bunch of money hidden inside of a stuffed animal. And in this video, I just found a bunch of cool stuff hidden in a secret room. So this is what I would call a real treasure hunt, guys. Jackpot. We're going to wrap it up here, guys, but make sure you like and subscribe for more treasure hunting videos. Also, check out my other videos. I got a ton more like this one that should be on screen right now. You can go ahead and click them, but that's about it. We'll see you in the next one. Squad out.